Happy Thursday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to live your life totally unhindered by the devil. Completely unhindered. An unhindered life. This is going to be good. Do you know what will happen if you live unhindered? You will live in perfect health, great health, and you will live in abundance. You can live that way. People do. I'm going to show you examples, and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm the how-to preacher. Amen. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I'm really good looking. I'm getting better looking every day. I had to fix myself up today. My entourage is not available. Not available. So I had to do myself. Can you tell? Do I look good? I look good. I look fantastic. You look fantastic. Lots of you have sent your pictures to me. And I know you look fantastic. All of you. Amen. When you say that, you have to say it kind of like, like a little bit like you're just a little bit, you know, like fantastic. You look fantastic. Amen. I look fantastic. Say that when you look at yourself in the mirror. Ladies, look in the mirror and say, I am beautiful. And getting more beautiful every day. And you know what? People will think that. What you think about yourself and what you say about yourself is what other people will think about you and say about you. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, go to our website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell everybody you know about these videos. Tell them the very best preacher in the country is doing these videos. Where to find me? Share these videos with everybody you know. And if you need prayers answered today, I mean, not just... I'm just, don't call me if you just want somebody to pray with you. Call me if you want somebody to get your prayers answered for you. Because when I pray, I mean business. I don't just sit and pray. I mean business. When I pray with somebody, I intend for them to have their prayers answered. Amen. And, then, and when you call me, I intend to get your prayers answered. When you're sick, I intend to get you healed. When you're broke, I intend to get your finances increased. I mean business, folks. Let me tell you something. Amen. And also, when you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you that God told us to speak. Because God said, if you do that, the way I tell you to do it, I will bless them. And I want God's blessing on you. Hey, now I am absolutely the best preacher in the whole country. But there's a challenge. I knew it was coming. There is a challenge. Somebody is putting up their preacher. A preacher up in Iowa. And somebody told me that he is also the best preacher in the country. He meets the criteria, they said. Our committee is investigating him right now. They will get back to us. They will find out if he truly is the best preacher in the country. If he is, he can have the title. If it's a tie, we will share the title. Then we, then I will have to say, I'm one of the best. And he can say, he's one of the best. But I'll tell you what, it's a pretty tall order. Pretty tall order. But if you know, if you, if your preacher is that good, if he's the best, now I'm not just talking about somebody who can stand there and preach. I'm talking about who meets the criteria. And the criteria is published. Amen. 13. 13 boxes have to be checked. 
before they will even be considered. And we will check and make sure those boxes are really checked. Amen. Glory to God. I want to talk to you today about how to live a totally unhindered life. Totally unhindered by the devil. Completely unhindered by the devil. You have to understand, now we were talking yesterday, that the devil is, is the one who causes all the problems. He causes all your problems. I told you yesterday, your problems are not your fault. The sun's coming up here. Let's see if we can move this just a little bit and if I can get out of the direct sunlight. Your problems are not your fault. They're the fault of the devil. Jesus said, the thief, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. In the temple, Jesus blamed the woman's problems on the devil. Shouldn't this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years, he blamed her problems on the devil. You First of all, you need to blame all your problems on the devil. But today, I want to talk to you about how to live an unhindered life. I'm going to give you some examples of people who do. Kenneth Copeland lives a life unhindered by the devil. Nothing anybody does can harm him. And believe me, they've tried. They've tried to destroy him. Doesn't work. You cannot destroy a person who is living a life unhindered by the devil, folks. Amen. Keith Moore is another one. Creflo Dollar is another one. Jesse Duplantis lives unhindered by the devil. T.D. Jakes. I mean, there's uh, Fred Price. Kenneth Hagen lived unhindered by the devil. Kenneth Hagen struggled with his finances for 25 years, from 1950 through 1975. Now, you need to study his life, folks. It took him 25 years to, to get his breakthrough. You can get your breakthrough today because I, being the best preacher in the whole country, know how he did it. I know how he did it. I figured it out. And it all fell right into place. I used to do a lot of detective work. I can figure things. I can I can smell things out, folks. I can find people. I just exposed somebody yesterday who was trying to scam one of the people in our church. I exposed him as a fraud. I told her, don't you give him a penny. Took a little research. I know how to do stuff. Amen. I did some research and detective work on Kenneth Hagen, and I found out that he truly was a man of great faith. I checked him out. If he wasn't, I would tell you. Some of these people out there are frauds. Some of them are. Kenneth Hagen was the real deal. Kenneth Copeland is the real deal, folks. The real deal. But Kenneth Hagen struggled until he got a hold of E.W. Kenyon's book, The Wonderful Name of Jesus. And at that point, he broke the power of the devil in his life. And within the next year, now the we, we know the Hagens. Not personally, we're not personal friends with them, but we know them, we've been around them, we've been around their family, we went to school there. Amen? I mean, we interacted with them every day for a couple of years. A lot of people do. We're not, you know, we're, we're not special. A lot of people, do. the people there, if you pay attention to what's going on when you're there, some of them don't, but we did. Amen? You will discover things about them. And one thing I discovered about them is they got their breakthrough in 1975. What happened? Kenneth Hagin broke the power of the devil in his life. And boom! The next year, they were all driving Cadillacs. 
And it, from that point on, they lived unhindered by the devil. We live, we have lived for the last seven years unhindered, totally unhindered by the devil. And you know what has happened to us? Look at this house. Look at what's sitting in the garage. And we're not doing anything different than we were doing seven years ago. Only seven years ago, we were believing God every minute for the money to pay our rent. Not no more. We don't believe God for nothing because everything just comes to us. We live unhindered. Our finances are going through the roof. We can't spend it fast enough. We're looking for places to, to invest and put our money. Why? Because we live unhindered. When God's word says in Psalm uh, what, 112, he says, I will increase you more and more, you and your children. Let me tell you something, folks. When the blessing of the Lord comes upon you, that's exactly what happens. You will increase more and more when you live unhindered by the devil. But the power of the devil needs to be broken in your life through the power in the name of Jesus by somebody, by you or somebody who has great faith in that name. Now, the reason my partners live unhindered lives, those of you who keep your mouths shut and don't try to figure this out, believe me, if you're trying to figure it out, the devil's going to get in your life. The Bible tells us not to try to figure it out. Do not lean to your own understanding. Do not depend on your own understanding. I don't understand a lot of this, people, but I believe it with all my heart. I don't know how this works. I don't care how this works, but I know it does. I know it does. It's like my TV. I don't care how that thing works. I'm not trying to, I'm not, you know, Googling how a TV works. I don't care how it works, but I know it does. And I use it. Same way with my computer. I don't know how all that stuff works. I don't know a lot about the things of God, how they work. But I believe them with all my heart. I'm totally sold on the word of God. Completely sold on it. And I'm especially sold on the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Huh? I'm teaching right now out of this book. Jesus, if you don't have this book, you better get this book. Go to Amazon. You'll have it in two days. And follow along with us. Amen. To live unhindered by the devil is to keep the devil out of your life. You can do it yourself if you, if you operate on that level of faith. Very few people do. But I do. I'm one of them. I'm not the only one. But I'm the only one who's accessible to you. I keep the devil out of my partner's lives, out of the people in my church, out of their lives, so they can live an unhindered life. I'm telling you what, we've got some partners, I'm telling you people, every their whole lives are just pew, because they're living unhindered. I want you to live an unhindered life, a curse-free, blessed life. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen for you. If you feel like the devil is hindering your life, you call me today and I will break that power. And I will break that power in, in your life and we will get you on your way. Amen. Glory. I'm telling you, do not do not be deceived by how simple this is. Go to my website. When you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. Word for word, and I will make sure that you're living an unhindered